Imagine starting a channel on YouTube and your very first video gets over 2 million views in less than 3 months. Well, that is the case for this particular channel and you can see that they have only 11 videos and they already have 57,000 subscribers. So clearly, they are doing something right. So this channel is telling African stories but they are doing it using AI images and in this video, I want to show you how to create similar AI animated story videos for your faceless YouTube channel or for whatever else you'd like to create stories for. And show that you also stick around to the end of the video because I'm going to tell you why I think that their channel is doing so well. So the first thing is for us to be able to get a script or storyline for our video. For that we are going to be using ChatGPT but even before we get the storyline we want to look for some topics. So this is the prompt that you're going to enter and I'm going to leave it in the description down below. Give me a list of title ideas for an animated YouTube video series about a dramatic African love story set in whatever culture. So there you can decide whichever culture you prefer. Include themes like for forbidden love, family conflict, tradition, betrayal or redemption. So those are themes uh, that really reach out to people. So you can use any of those. So out of this, I'm just going to go with uh, the Maasai culture. So if I quickly go through the titles, I can see there's Beyond the Savannah, a Maasai story, uh, Heart of the Serengeti. So just look through the titles and see which one reaches out to you. For me, I think I like number 18, the Maasai's greatest sacrifice. So you can choose any of them. The next thing we're going to do is to put in a prompt that is going to give us a storyline for that. So this is the prompt for the storyline. Give me a story to narrate with a voiceover for an animated African story for number that one. So you enter the number that you have chosen. For me, I chose number 18. So we'll just enter number 18 here. I'll leave the prompt again in the description down below. And then the summary should outline the main characters, their relationships and the central conflict of the story. And then it continues on and on. So I'm just going to enter that. Okay. So ChatGPT has generated a story for us. So we have the title, The Maasai's Greatest Sacrifice. And and then we have the voiceover script. So what you can see in brackets are what I'm going to use to create prompts for our AI images. And that is something that I had requested ChatGPT to give us in the prompts that I use above there. Okay, so we can see that in the heart of the Maasai Mara, where the golden plains, all that, all that. And then we have the prompt. So the next step is for us to generate a voiceover for this. So you can use 11 labs or you can decide to record yourself actually reading out the whole story. For the purpose of illustration, I'm going to use 11 labs for this. But if I was actually telling the stories i think i would read them out loud but it is up to you to choose whichever one that you prefer so since we've created this script and it has these breaks in between there's two ways to go about it so either you can ask chat gpt to rewrite the entire story so that it is easier for you to generate the voiceover or you could just take the sections as they are and you generate voiceovers with that let's just rewrite this because we can so we'll just copy the story as it is then we're going to go to 11 labs and just paste it here and then you can choose a voice so if we listen to this one Love doesn't make the world go round. So you can choose any of the voices here. Let's listen to this Ideas one. Ideas are the beginning points of all fortunes. Okay, that doesn't sound too bad. So maybe we can use Dorothy. So we're going to go back to the one that we are creating and we're just going to hit generate. So we're using one voice narrator for this one. In the heart of the Maasai Mara, where golden plains stretch to the horizon and distant mountains loom with ancient secrets, two souls were destined to meet. Download this one. So the next part is for us to generate some AI images to use for our video. So this is going to be the really fun part. And don't worry, you don't need any design skills. ChatGPT has already done the heavy lifting for us. So I really want to take my time with this section because this is going to be the make or break of your video. Because if you put in images that don't look really nice, then people are not going to watch through your video. So I tried out four AI image generators as I was searching for what to use for this. So I tried out Canva. I tried Leonardo, I tried Microsoft Designer, I tried Playground AI, and then I settled on Microsoft Designer, and you're going to see why. So let's go back to ChatGPT and pick our image prompts. So I'm going to start with this one here that has the opening scene. So we just copy it, and then we're going to go back to Microsoft Designer. So when you want to create with Microsoft Designer, you just scroll down to where it says uh, get started with generative AI, click on this image creator. So just click on uh, generate there. It's just going to open for us the window that we are going to use to work. So in this search bar here, we're going to paste our prompt. Click on generate. Okay, so we have two images that we can use and I think they look really nice. So we have this one. I'm going to download it. We'll also download this one. And in case you wanted to edit the image, if you click on this, you can be able to edit your image. So you have some tools here. You can erase, you can remove the background, you can blight. You also have some filters here. Let's look at the recommended ones. Yeah, so you see we have that one. We have that one. 
yeah so maybe we could try this one so that we just have another image to choose from so just click on download and by the way if you're enjoying this video ensure you like it and subscribe to the channel it really helps with the algorithm let's go to the next prompt so just go back to chat gpt and we have to scroll up to where we had the prompts yeah so this is the second prompt it shows uh jamari so just control a control v so that it um just paste there click on generate yeah so this is what we've gotten from our prompt so i'm going to download this just so that i don't have to come back here so we have jamari here we can look at this one we can also download it i'm not going to do the entire story because it's going to take us like so much time because what we are doing is just repeating the process over and over again let me just do these two more let's do lila we just need like um three images of lila and then we're going to do their secret meeting place yeah so we have uh lila here so let's see who we want to use as lila i think i like this one she looks so pretty this one also looks nice okay so we can change this prompt just a little bit so that we have more photos show some vegetation yeah so we can ha have some vegetation just so that we have a different image okay so now we have some vegetation so we can download this one and also this one well she looks a bit younger but um, let's just download it okay so now we are going to generate one more scene where i think uh, we have them uh, meeting in the secret place this one is illustrate a hidden meeting place so we'll just do the story uh, up to that point and you can have chat gpt generate for you longer or shorter stories you can actually tell it the exact length that you want your video to be it's going to be able to generate that for you so now notice here we have a challenge because this is no longer in the maasai theme so what you need to do for your prompts is that you have to make sure that it uh, keeps on going with the maasai theme we're going to say jamari a uh, maasai warrior And Lila, a Maasai girl, meet, okay, in secret holding hands. So we're going to generate this again because you see the theme has changed. So let's see what this gives us. Yeah, so we can see, we can download this one. Okay, let's see, this one is also okay. So we can go with this. Yeah, so just download this one. Let's see this other one. So this one is also really nice. Actually, I think we've gotten uh, quite a nice selection from our new prompt. So you can always adjust your prompts. So the next step is starting to put our video together. So you can do that in CapCut. You can do that in Canva. You can do that in whatever video editor that you prefer. I'm just going to do it in Canva just because it is easier for me to line up the images. So we'll go to Canva here click on create a design look for a youtube video we'll use this one so we're going to have uh, each image in a sort of different scene so now we bring in the images yeah so these are some images that i had generated initially with canva so you know they were okay but then um i think i prefer what we've just uh, done right now so just click on upload and then you can upload your photos in here yeah so i have a whole set of photos um that i can use for this particular video yeah and as it is completing i'm going to go and get our audio so that we can also use it for this section okay so we're going to start with the audio because it's the one that is going to guide us on where we need to put our images so just click on it yeah so that is uh the whole audio so just listen to it and then we place in the images as we go along in the heart of the maasai mara where... okay so we just put in the first uh image here you can have this one so you can just um set it as a background check whether you can be able to adjust it a little bit there so that's the first thing in the heart of the maasai mara yeah so when it finishes that sentence i'm going to change the scene a little bit so we'll use this one so we go to the next scene then we can have this one in the heart of the maasai mara where golden plains stretch to the horizon okay i'm going to stop it there again so that I get a different other image. Yeah, so this one can be our other image. 
yeah something else that you can do because the images are still they are not moving is that you can animate them so you can just use this uh breathe animation yeah just have that one we'll just have the same sort of yeah animation happening and then we're also going to add a transition so just click on this we're going to add this match and move it's a really good transition so this is what we have until there in the heart of the maasai mara where golden plains stretch to the horizon and distant mountains loom with ancient secrets okay so that one goes until there and then we have uh introducing i think jamari Okay, so I think that looks good until there. Yeah, so you can continue adding scenes onto your video until you're satisfied it looks okay. And also animating the scenes, adding transitions so that it feels uh, as though it is moving seamlessly. So the other thing that we're going to do is just to add some music uh, onto this. And like I have said before, if you want to put this video on YouTube, you want to ensure that the music you use is copyright free music. And the best place to get this is a YouTube audio library. So if you just go to your YouTube studio and come to where it says audio library, you're going to be able to access numerous songs that you can use so we just filter here so we can filter by african see if we get anything let's play this okay mm, that sounds interesting so i think we can have both this one and this one in case we decide to use them so we just drag both of them back into canva and i think i'm going to have this one being the first one so just put the playhead here and then we can just uh, drop it there ensure that uh, you minimize the volume very low there let's play it in the heart of the maasai mara where golden plains stretch to the horizon okay so i think we'll have to add the timing for this uh, maybe up to five seconds uh, because I saw that it was really really quick so this is something that you can do you can keep changing the time for this and then you just um, you just look at how it affects the video okay and then you keep adjusting them accordingly so I'm going to just quickly adjust that so that we have this uh, video so you can add more images in your video if you want to it's really going to make it even more engaging now once you're done you just download this so you're just going to go to this share button here and then you just click on download and then it's going to download it and this is what our video looks like in the heart of the Maasai Mara where golden plains stretch to the horizon and distant mountains loom with ancient secrets, two souls were destined to meet. This is the story of Jamari and Lila, whose love would test the bonds of family, tradition, and honor. Jamari was a young Maasai warrior, a Moran, trained to protect his people and uphold their customs. His heart was strong, but it held a secret that would challenge everything he knew. He had fallen in love with Lila, the daughter of a rival chief. Lila was beautiful and wise, her presence like the gentle breeze that rustled through the acacia trees. But her heart belonged to someone her family would never accept. Yeah, so I hope you have fun doing your video. And since you followed through up to this point, I want to tell you why I think that that channel is doing so well. Number one, it is in the consistency of their images. So if you go to their channel, you're going to realize that most of the images look somewhat the same. So if you want to ensure that you create consistent images, the secret is in your prompt and also the model that you're going to be using. So in future, I'm going to be creating more videos about how to prompt for AI images. So ensure you look out for those. Number two is that she's actually doing the voiceover herself. So if you compare voiceovers that are done by AI and those that have been done by a human you're going to realize that it is very different because the human has in them emotions so they're able to make these long poses maybe to be able to emphasize a point they're able to go down in tone so it makes it more real for the video and the final thing that I think is making this channel successful is that they seem to be very passionate about the stories that they're telling and also they're telling them in a very unique way so find something that is going to be unique for you something that you can be able to own if you want to learn how to edit your videos using canva and sure you subscribe for more videos like this my name is paris and i'll catch you in the next one